it's it's wow, man. Wow. It's just it's, <laughs> a, it's really just a beautiful thing to see. Like it's sometimes you can put things in the words, and then there's other times where it's just the feelings are overwhelming in a sense, positively. And that's really just the the takeaway I got from it. Just the energy was infectious and the um the way the the way that Teresa has a way with words and not just words but communicating them in a way that has you not just thinking that she's really believing it but there's 10 toes down knowing that she's ten that she's just all in on everything she's saying she's not just preaching to the choir she's speaking on things that she truly believes and even more than that she's a example of those things independent of anything else so just kind of seeing her speak and just ingratiate herself again with the media with people that maybe didn't know who she was or how she was as a person outside of her performing as a basketball player. I mean, you just left with all types of abundances and just a level of um, uh, confidence in her direction of the team that, like I said, man, it's just very impressive. Very impressive. Yeah, she came hot with the quotes um, from her opening statement where she was talking about um, having heard no in the past, and if you leave, a, it's like if you close the door, I'm gonna find a window, and once the window's open, they don't call me spoon for nothing. I'm coming here to stir things up, right. and I honestly thought that was gonna be the motto, but it was, you know, talking about Kalia Copper. I thought it was interesting that she said she was ready to gear up, and she looked at Teresa Weatherspoon, and it turned out that that was T Spoon's kind of model for the team. She said she she told. Everybody there is like, you can write it down. You can mark it. We are geared up to do the right thing. And within that, she's a, that's our campaign. And we will take over this town, which was something evident that both she and Nadia Rawlinson wanted to make clear that the Sky are trying, really making an effort into marketing during all seasons, not just in the summertime. Nadia Rawlinson expressed that they want people to be talking about the Sky in the off season when they're not playing basketball. And uh, Teresa Weatherspoon talked about getting into the community. A question actually came from a recent guest of the show, Monique Newton of the next. I don't know if we got a definitive answer on how those marketing campaigns and community outreach will go, uh, but did you pick anything up on those fronts? Yeah. And nothing is specific as far as like what the plan of action is and you know, what, potential like media outlets they might tap into or have partnership with, et cetera, et cetera. So nothing in detail wise in terms of that, but just that that is a huge part in everything that Coach Weatherspoon is looking to uh, cultivate in her culture that she's going to be a bearer of and that she plans to establish with the team. Um, she just mentioned uh, numerous times that that community aspect of um, taking over a town extends far past just uh inside the four lines on the court and that the engagement with the community the understanding of the community and the history of it like all of those little things like you can't you can't be a part of a story or change things if you're not aware of what came before you and that's not just the franchise's history that's the city's history um i had the pleasure of speaking with her afterwards and she i kind of went back and forth with her because i listened to a podcast that she was on couple of years ago and she talked about how when she was um one of the pieces to first come to the w they sent her to the liberty and um she did her research she said she went to all of the boroughs she wanted to know what the city was about she even went as far as trying to figure out why they chose the colors that they chose in the initial stages of the new york liberty's um logo and embleming and everything and that just shows a next level of um um, assertion and just attentiveness and attention to detail. Like she truly wants to understand why things are the way they are, how she can help them evolve it, and how she can even more than all of that uh, have her team exude those qualities that makes this city unique. We all city like the mayor. 